cosmic ignited plasma patterns in the atmosphere are uh, called SIPA, or that is their division, plasma patterns in the atmosphere, SIPA. Okay, military applications include quick deployable communication systems. including non-line-of-sight UAV communications. Okay, this is uh, in Bernard Eastland's uh, site. There are also potential weather applications such as severe weather control. The new SIPA method offers significant benefits compared to previous concepts for formation of artificial ionized regions in the atmosphere. Concept are pulse beams of electromagnetic radiation and require high electric fields for electrical breakdown in the atmosphere. SIPA method takes advantage of cosmic particle ionization trails. Cosmic rays for altitudes below 40,000 meters and meteor trails at altitudes over 70,000 meters which fundamentally change the physics of the breakdown process by providing an ignition source of electrons. Okay, this is Cosmic Weather Toolkit. The plasma formed in the atmosphere using the cosmic particle ignition methods can be used for weather research and weather modification in a number of ways. The plasma can act as a heater. It can be designed to have energy deposited in the air. This energy can be used to heat water droplets in the case of a tornado modification or to generate acoustic and gravitational waves by heating the atmosphere and modulating the heating rate by modulating the power of the heating beam. The heating can be applied to specific portions of a hurricane and potentially modify its strength and direction. So, this is some of the things um, that Dr. Eastland went to Penn State and uh, spoke there, at, uh, did a lecture there. I was kind of interested in um, the observations of gravity wave weather effects. Gravity waves propagating across a stationary thunderstorm outflow associated with a jet streak in a boundary produce thunderstorms. Succession of gravity waves produced severe weather. The unstable cloud layers in the previous figure are another example of gravity waves transferring energy and resulting in unstable behavior. I'm going to leave the links here so that you can um, check it out for yourself. Here is the tornado mitigation. Emergency vehicles will be placed throughout the Midwest, where they get a lot of tornadoes. Upon identification of a threatening mesocyclone, they would converge within about a 30-mile radius of the storm, and a few hundred such vehicles would beam their energy into the cold, rainy downdraft. The technology for tracking the storms has been developed by tornado chasers, such as Doswell. So here you have um, stationary, uh, multiple microwave beams that are shot up. They hit the, the plasma heating mirror right there. There's an emergency antenna down the way. So it kind of makes sense if they can mitigate a tornado, they can make one. Okay, I will leave all the links so that you can check this out for yourself. Um, God bless.